To start with first we must have clips on the timeline. And before anything else, make sure that the cursor is at the position where you want your transition to be. Then head towards the project panel, right click, go to new item and adjustment layer. Now this window will pop up in front of you and we're gonna keep the adjustment layer settings as default and then click on OK. After that grab the adjustment layer and drop it over the videos. Now move 10 frames backwards, make a cut onto the adjustment layer, then move 20 frames forward, make another cut onto the adjustment layer and with the remaining piece of it, move it to the next part where you want the next transition to be. Then do exactly the same, cut this adjustment layer into like 10 frames on each side and delete the remaining parts of it because you don't need them. I'll do the same with other parts of it. Now select the first adjustment layer bit and go to effects. From there type down transform, go find the transform effect under distort and drop it onto the first adjustment layer bit. Now let's move up to the effects control panel, go down to transform and find the scale option. From there I'm gonna create a keyframe and then I'll go down to use composition ego and enable it. And also I'll ramp it up up to 360 degrees so it will give us this blurry effect. Then I'll go back to scale, move 10 frames backwards and create another keyframe and I'll ramp it up up to 200. Then I'll go another 10 frames forward and reset the values to zero. Now we've got already an animation, but to make it smoother, I'll select all keyframes, right click, temporary temporation, ease in, and then again, right click and ease out. And now the easiest part of it, if you want to duplicate this transition to another adjustment layer, just go to the face control panel of the first adjustment layer, go down to transform, right click, copy the effect, and then go to the second adjustment layer, select it, place the cursor at the middle where you want the transition to be, and then control and V, to paste it. And now let's see the final result. And just like that you can create a smooth zoom transition in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.